So you're considering making a move to Bradford West Gwillimbury and you want to know what local restaurants, what local businesses this town has to offer for you and your family? Look no further, we're going to cover all of that in today's video. Bradford West Gwillimbury is about 30 minutes north of Toronto and it has a population of under 45,000 as of 2023. It has a beautiful community centre which is behind me right there, right? Beautiful community centre which has basketballs, skating, a fitness centre. It also has a library which you can't see over there but there is a library um, that has you know, tons of books. Um, as you could see right now, I'm at the local farmer's market, which operates every Saturday, starting from about 8 a.m. Let's actually go take a look what it has to offer before we give you a tour of uh, the local communities in Bradford. <laughs> So we just jumped in the car and we head a little bit east on Highway 88. Um, Highway 88 is off of Highway 400, which is pretty much the main road that you could take to enter into Bathford, or also you could take Line 5. Um, Highway 88 turns into Holland Street once you pass uh, the Melbourne area. Um, Holland is uh, pretty much the hub of uh, Bradford. It takes you into the downtown core of Bradford, which they're gonna revitalize, and I'm walking on the downtown core. Uh, in the future, they're gonna be revitalizing this area, adding more affordable homes, more homes in the area, which is good for the community, right? Um, as I'm walking right here, remember I talked about Bradford has a, a unique culinary scene from Italian restaurants to Thai food to Mexican food, anything you can think of, we have it in Bradford. Um, one of the uh, popular joints on Holland Street is Brick and Fire, which is a bit, of, a bit west behind me. Um, they serve fine dining food. We also have, uh, as you could see here, uh, Rebel Greek. Rebel Greek, uh, authentic uh, Greek food. And you guys know I love food. Uh, you get authentic Greek. You also have Lamar's Pizza, which is behind me. It's a neighborhood spot where everyone goes to for uh, local pizza, one of the best pizzas in the town. Um, yeah, let's just keep walking down and check out what the downtown core has to offer. So uh, just follow me and as we go down, all right? Hey everyone, oh my gosh, I forgot to introduce myself. I got so excited uh, looking at the farmer's market with all those fresh fruits and vegetables that I forgot to introduce myself. So my name is Solomon Amomensa. I'm with the Explore with the More team. We create videos all about Simcoe County and New York region and we show everything from the living, from the working, from the restaurants to the amazing lakes, all about Simcoe County and York region. I'm a local real estate agent. Uh, we help people like you, 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 uh, to buy, sell, relocate, and invest in this beautiful region. So if you're looking to get the latest information about this region, please like, subscribe, hit that notification button, which you'll be the first to get insights about the current markets in this region. Also, feel free to shoot us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. Let's schedule that Zoom call so we can help you love your journey home. So as I'm walking in the downtown core, it's a vibrant, vibrant core, which everyone in Bradford loves. Um, there's Mexican restaurants like uh, Hey Caramba, which is a local restaurant. There's uh, La Mexicanada, which is an amazing uh, dinery as well. Um, there's so many hidden gems in uh, the downtown core of Bradford. Surrounding that area, you do have older homes, which we're gonna check out. And then we're gonna show you the different price points of the uh, different communities so that you can get an idea if you wanna make this your home and you could give us a shout, right? So there's a lot of culinary restaurants in Bradford. Uh, anything you could think of, uh, you have Thai food, you have Indian food, um, as you could see there. You have Indian over there, right? Uh, we have many, many, uh, uh, restaurants to appease all types of palates, right? Uh, you have breakfast joints down here, which is pretty cool. They're opening up a Winget um, soon. I can't wait to check out that. It's over there, as you can see, it's over there. I can't wait to check that out. Also off of Berry, we have uh, a wonderful local ice cream shop. 
which they operate starting from 2 p.m. Everyone goes there for ice creams and you get a decent amount of size to appease that hot summer day. Uh, you get it at three scoops. So let's just keep walking and see what else Bradford has to offer in downtown core. Yeah, so as we're walking down, we see some Bradford jewelry, which is right here. I've never been there before, but I'm sure they have beautiful pieces. Bradford jewelry. Then you have your healthcare centers, which are over there, right? Anything you could think of, we have it all here in Bradford. We also have the big box uh, stores uh, if you drive further west, which I'll probably make another video to show you that where you have the Walmarts, the Home Depot, uh, Canadian Tire, all that stuff. But this is just more, the downtown core is more of local businesses, small businesses. We love supporting small businesses, right? We have a barber shop that's right here. Um, you know, they operate every day, which is cool. Yeah, we're just gonna keep walking down. I just wanna show you guys um, Bradford's Town Hall, which is pretty neat, very historic. Uh, a lot of history here, and let's go check it out. So I'm just walking in the parking lot of the Bradford Town Hall, or they also call it Bradford West Gullenberry Courthouse, as you see here, right? Courthouse, I guess when we are bad people, we come here to fight our tickets or to pay them as well, or also you could pay our property tax as well over here. Uh, you can get anything relating to your property. Um, they have records of all that information located in this building here as well. Across the street, that blue sign, is an also Greek uh, restaurant called Nastimo, Nastimo, if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, great food, great portion sizes as well. Um, we have Tim Hortons further down. We have some dentistry. We have chiropractory, all that good stuff, all right? So that's a little, a little glimpse of the downtown uh, core. Um, of Bradford. Now let's go take a look at the communities. I'm gonna hop in the car and let's go take a look at the communities, all right? So we took a short drive to this community here. It's about two minutes away from the downtown core in Bradford, so we're still in the east part of Bradford. A community such as this is a bit older, right? As you could tell here, the homes are a bit older. Homes like this were built in the 70s. However, uh, if you get into an area like this, the price tends to be lower than the west side of Bradford, right? Because um, you get older homes, there are homes where it needs a bit of TLC, some renovation, right? Or if you're happy with how it looks, you could live in it just like that, right? Um, so that's a good thing about this area. You also have uh, properties that come with two to three entrances, right? So, you know, you could get creative if you do decide to renovate, uh, where you could, you know, finish the basement, uh, you could add a, an extra apartment in there. You could add an in-law suite. You could do so many different things um, uh, in an area like this, right? Um, as I walk past here, a home like this, uh, uh, can't see. A home like this right here is a semi-detached back split. It sold for 770000 It has three bedrooms, two bathrooms. And it has the works. Um, but again, uh, as you could hear, a house like this, it does come with... Uh, added costs where you might have to do some renovations just to get it to your standard, right? But again, this is the older part of Bradford. You get uh, a lot of options when you decide an area like this uh, with Bradford. The price points start from 650 to 800,000, right? So, you know, I like to say like, it's better to start off with an area like this where it's better that, you know, you're an owner, not a renter, right? And there's nothing wrong with renting, but you know, with ownership, you get your own you know, piece, your own space, right? It gives you the opportunity to make space like this your home, right? For you and your family, or you could house hack by living in the basement or at the, at the top and renting out either unit so you could save and you know, you're paying, someone's paying your mortgage, right? So that's pretty cool, right? Um, that's the, 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 the pros of owning a home. Uh, in an area like this. As uh, you know, I was driving, before we wanted to head to the west side of Bradford, I definitely wanted to check out this area. It's on the southeast side of Bradford, very short distance to the downtown core. In this area, you have homes that were built in the 80s. Um, you have bungalow style homes, bungalow detached style homes, right? Uh, some are raised bungalow homes. Very, very nice area. It is um, uh, on the lower side of uh, entry point. Like, you know, you could get homes 
on the average range from 750,000 and up, which is good. Um, again, but you know, cause it's built in the eighties, you're gonna have to probably do a bit of rehab. If you know, that doesn't bother you, then it's fine. Then you have a home. You also get homes with uh, two entry points as well. Um, as you could see there where uh, they're working over there. A house like that uh, goes for 840,000. It's about 1,400 square foot, uh, two beds, two baths. So that's what you're gonna get when you come into an area like this. It does get you in, into the Bradford area, right? Um, because it's older, um, but uh, it, it does come with a, a lot of, lot of pros, which is good, right? You get massive, massive trees. You get good land space, right? You get a quiet nestled community, right? in the Bradford area. So let's hop in the vehicle and let's see what this uh, area has to offer in terms of neighborhood, all right? So yes, now we are on the west side of Bradford. Um, the west side has newer built homes, uh, new construction homes. So when you see that and when you hear that, that usually translates to higher price points, okay? And the reason why it's higher price points is because it's new, right? Um, you get homes that are moving ready, turnkey ready, where you don't have to do any renovations to the homes, right? So as I walk here, it's a nice, nice area, nice community has nice walking trails, as you see there, right? You know, brick homes, nice uh, constructed two-story homes, which is cool. Um, if you look back here, you have this townhome, right? This townhome is an end unit townhome. It's, you could get this for 950,000. It has three beds, four baths, about 1,800 square foot. Uh, and that's, you know, massive, massive space for a townhome. Um, you have a great layout because it's a townhome and it was built in 2016. So that's pretty cool about an area like this, right? Um, you get a lot of space. Um, I mean, lot size are not as big as uh, the older part of Bradford, but you get a home that's turnkey ready, move-in ready, and you could be in a nice area like this where you know you have kids playing baseball, playing catch, very, very quiet. You can't hear the busy sounds of the main roads. Very quiet, very decent. Um, and you get what you pay for by moving to this part of Bradford, okay? So I'm just gonna jump in the car. As you know, I'm gonna show you around, uh, give you a nice tour so that you could get a, a great idea of um, this area, okay? Last on the list, uh, we are still in the west side of Bradford. We are in the Summerlin Trail area. Um, this community was established early, mid 2000s uh, by one of the best uh, developers in Canada called Great Gulf Community Homes. Uh, they build amazing, amazing homes. This community in itself, um, it started in probably uh, 10 different phases uh, to where it is now. And they build homes from townhomes to semi-detached homes, uh, detached homes, right? As you see in the back here, a home like that is about 1,240,000. A home like this has four beds, four baths. It's about 10 to 15 years old. 
It has over 2,500 square feet of beauty. This stunning property boasts spacious rooms, luxurious amenities, and a beautiful backyard, making it the ultimate haven for families. The pictures don't do it justice, right? This home is magnificent. Comes with a cost, right? You are, get to be in an amazing, amazing community. Summerlin Trails is one of the best communities in Bradford. As you see here, like just walking around, as you see on this side, you have homes that don't have sidewalks. That comes with an added premium cost, right? Uh, the benefit is during the winter time, they don't get to shovel the sidewalk, right? And you know, if you don't shovel the sidewalk, you get a lot, a lot of trouble from your city, right? So um, you don't get, you know, a sidewalk. You could add extra vehicles onto your driveway, which is cool. However, there's still nice homes with sidewalks, right? So let's jump in the car and you know what we're gonna do, we're gonna tour around so you could see what this community has to offer, okay? So that's it fam, there you have it. Bradford West Gullenberry has a fantastic lifestyle with its vibrant community, excellent dining options, amazing farmer's market, and incredible housing options. So it's close to Highway 400, it's close to Barrie, it's close to Newmarket, it's close to Vaughan, and most importantly, it's close to Toronto. So as I mentioned earlier, my name is Solomon. Whether you are a local, or you're looking to make a move here in nine days or 90 days, uh, our team will help you in every step of the way. So feel free to shoot us a text, send us an email, schedule that Zoom call, give us a phone call. All that description is found down below. Until next time, we'll help you love your journey home.